Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to be discussing scopes in Python. So first of all, what is scope and what does it mean? So scope refers to the region of a program where a particular variable or function is visible and accessible. The scope determines where in the program a variable can be used and which parts of the code have access to it. There are different types of scopes in programming, including built-in scope, global scope, local scope, and non-local scope, each with their own rules and limitations. Understanding scope is crucial for writing efficient and effective programs as it helps to prevent naming conflicts, improving code organization, and ensuring proper variable usage. So a few days ago, I posed this question to my audience asking what they thought the output of this little script would be. So we have x defined as one at the top, and then we call our function func, and inside of this function, we print x, and then we reassign x to the value of two. With over 20,000 votes, over half of you selected one, but a large portion of you thought that an error would occur. Stick around towards the end of this video and we'll see if one really is the correct answer here. Okay, so first, let's talk about built-in scope. Built-in scope is referring to all of the variables accessible as soon as we start the Python interpreter. An example would be like the print statement, or any of the following keywords shown here. These are built into Python, so you don't need to import anything to use them. You could use them anywhere. Next, let's talk about global scope. Global scope is essentially file-wide. What I mean by that is that a global variable in a Python file can be used anywhere within that file only. So in Python, any variable that gets defined on this first indentation automatically becomes a global variable. So up here, I'll say x is equal to 1, and then I'll create a function called foo. And inside of foo, let's define another variable y, and let's set it equal to 12. And let's print x and y. Now this foo function has its own little local scope. It has a local variable y that can only be accessed within this function. It also has access to this global variable x, and it's using this print statement which is being accessed from the built-in scope. So down here, let's call foo, and you'll see that we're able to grab the value of this global variable x and print it and also prints the local variable y. Now, just a second ago, I said that a global variable is accessible anywhere within the file. However, that does exclude the time dimension. If we call this function first, and then we assign the variable x afterwards, we will get an error because in this function, when it's trying to call x, it doesn't exist yet. This should be fairly obvious, but I just wanna make sure that I cover my bases. Okay, so now let's define another x variable inside of this function and assign it to the value of 11. Which of these two x's do you think this print statement will print out? Well, when we run this, you'll see that it printed out 11. What about this one in the global scope? Why didn't it print this one out? Well, when the print statement is trying to find the value of x to print, it will start its search in the most local scope and work its way outwards. So since we have a local variable x here, it stops and prints that value out. Okay, so down here after our function call, let's print x again. Will it print 1? Or when this function gets called, will it change the value of x to 11 and therefore this would print out 11? Well, let's run this and you'll see that it printed out 1. So assigning x to 11 in this function was only accessible in the local scope of that function. It did not affect this global x variable. These two variables, while both named x, are in different scopes and therefore stored in totally different addresses in memory. Okay, so what if we want to change this global scope variable? What if, in this function, when we assign x to 11, we also want to change this global x to equal 11 as well? To do this, inside of this function, before we even reference x, we need to type the global keyword, followed by the variables in the global scope that we want to reference. So in this case, this x is the only global variable we have, and that's the variable that we're trying to change. So we put x here. What this is doing is it's telling Python that within this local scope, whenever I use x, I am referring to the x that's in the global scope. So now when we are setting x equal to 11, instead of creating a new local scope variable called x, it's actually referencing where this global x is being stored in memory and it's reassigning that value to 11. So now when we run this, you'll see that the global x value got changed when we ran this foo function. Now, you may have heard before to never use global variables. You'll typically hear that they're just bad practice and you shouldn't use them. But why is that? Well, it turns out global variables can actually be quite useful for things like constant values that will never change throughout your code. But if you're not careful, they can cause some problems in your code that can be very difficult to debug. Let's say, for example, we have another function called var down here. 
Inside of bar, we want to print our global x variable. So let's call bar down here. And when we run this, you'll see that we don't actually print out the one that we were expecting. That's because the foo function was called first and it changed the global variable x, which affected our result in our bar function. Now, in a simple script like this, it's easy to see what's going on here, but in more complex scripts with multiple function calls, you can probably see how this can cause some issues. Okay, so let's discuss one other thing about scopes. Let's say we have a global x up here equal to 1. Next, let's define a function named outer, and inside of this outer function, let's set x equal to 2. But let's go one step further. Let's define a function inside of our outer function, and let's call it inner. And inside of here, let's set x equal to 3, and let's print x. Back in our outer function, let's call the inner function, and then let's print x. And then, outside of our outer function, let's call the outer function and print x. So what should happen is our global x gets set to 1 first, then the outer function gets called, inside of this outer function, its local variable x gets set to 2, then the inner function gets called, and in this inner function, its local variable x gets set to 3, and it prints 3 first. Then we return out of this inner function back to the outer function, and we print its local x variable, which is 2. Then we return out of the outer function, and we print the global x variable 1. So we should get an output of 3, 2, 1. So let's run this, and there we go. All three of these variables are each named x, but they're all located in different locations in memory because their scopes are different. Okay, so in this inner function, we can currently only print the local x variable in this function. But let's say you wanted to reference the x variable one scope out in this outer function. Well, all we have to do is remove this x assignment here in this inner function. So remember, this print statement will look for the x variable that is closest to it in scope. So it'll first look in its local scope for x, but since there is no x defined in this function, it will go one scope out and search there, and so on. So one scope out, it finds an x variable, and so that's the x variable it will print out. So we should see an output of 2, 2, 1. So let's run this, and there we go. Now let's go ahead and also remove the x in this outer function. What's gonna happen now? So this print statement in this inner function will not see an x defined locally. So it will search one scope out, still no x variables. So it goes another scope out and it sees this global x variable defined. So it prints one. Same with the print statement in this outer function. It sees no local variable named x in the outer function. So it goes one scope out and prints one as well. And then of course this print statement down here will print the global x. So our output should be one, one, one. So let's run this, and there we have it. Okay, so I'm gonna add back the local variables to each of these functions. Now, in this inner function, we know from earlier if we wanted to change the global x variable out here, we just needed to say global x at the top here. And this global x would get changed to three in memory. And so this inner function will print three, the outer function will print two, but when we get outside of the outer function, since we change this global x up here to three in our inner function, this print statement will print three. So let's run this, and there we go. Well, what if instead I wanted to change the x variable in this outer function? So here, instead of saying global, we will type non-local. This tells Python that this variable x is referencing the one one scope out. So just like global, when I assign x to three here, it's actually reassigning this x variable in the outer function to three. So the inner function will print three, then the outer function, since it was changed inside of the inner function, will also print three. And then out here, this global x variable remains untouched, so it will print one. So let's run this, and there we go. Okay, so let's go back to the poll question I had talked about earlier. What do you think the output of this script should be? Well, let's run this, and you'll see that we get an error. Why is this? Well, this error actually occurs during compile time. So what does compile time mean? Well, when you run a Python script, before anything is executed, the code must first be translated to essentially one and zero so that the computer can understand what we wrote. You can think of compile time as like proofreading a script before giving a speech. It checks everything to make sure everything makes sense before actually executing the code. 
Well, when Python compiles this, it sees that even though this print statement occurs first, it sees that an X variable gets assigned locally afterwards and throws an error. Python assumes that we must have accidentally flipped these two lines of code. So hopefully this video gave you a better insight of what scope is and how it can be an important thing to keep an eye on when creating scripts. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, be sure to leave a like so that the algorithm knows to share this with more people. If you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to be the first to watch my videos, be sure to click that bell icon to get notified when I post. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.